In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to do a vintage roll with a fishtail braid. I'll be demonstrating this on my baby sister, Taylor. To begin, I am going to wash and condition her hair with Agadir Argan Oil's Daily Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. This duo is sulfate free and paraben free and safe for all hair types, even color treated hair. They are enriched with vitamin E, antioxidants, and essential fatty acids that keep hair healthy, moisturized, and full of body. To prep her hair for styling, I am using Afaji Restructurizer for protein balance and restructuring the hair shaft. This formula is alcohol free and helps protect color. Next, I am layering in Cream of Nature's Perfect 7 for added hydration, split end prevention, detangling, frizz control, and shine. Now I am going to add Agadir Hair Shield 450 Intense Cream Treatment to each section of hair and detangle. This one not only acts as a heat protectant, but works to repair damaged hair, hydrate the hair, and condition in the days after styling. After all of the sections have been detangled, I am going to place her under the hooded dryer for about 30 minutes. You can also choose to air dry here if you prefer, but if you have shrinkage, I recommend that you stretch your hair with clips of some kind so that it dries with as much length as possible. After the hair is dry, I am going to use my Ion Anti-Frizz Ceramic Blow Dryer and Denman 9 Row Brush to ensure that the hair is stretched without causing any static or putting too much stress on the hair. Whenever you plan to use a blow dryer for stretching, it is a good idea to dry your hair first with a hooded dryer or by air drying to prevent too much stress on your wet hair. To begin styling, I am going to part out a section of hair at the crown, with the width being temple to temple and then back to the tip of the ear. I am going to mold the hair using Agadir Argan Oil Styling and Sculpting Gel. What I like most about this one is that it does not dry hard and it has a moisturized hold. It is also alcohol free and works as a volumizing gel or for molding hair into styles like this. I am going to use a dime size amount of gel for each side and the back of the hair. Then I am going to use my Denman grooming brush to smooth the hair into a ponytail. Now I am going to divide the ponytail into two sections, twist and pin to secure the hair. Next, I am going to attach a drawstring ponytail and use bob pins to secure it. My sister is dancing in a competition with this hair and I want to make sure she doesn't whip it off her head. It doesn't have to be anything expensive, just grab one from your local beauty supply. 
This one is a 22 inch Yaki Synthetic. After I've secured the ponytail, I'm going to fishtail braid it. You will want to do your braiding before you install your ponytail like I'm doing here, unless someone else is going to do the braiding part for you. You can try maybe securing it to a doorknob or something in the house so that it holds sturdy while you braid. To start, make sure your ponytail is combed through well and is nice and neat. Then you will want to divide the hair into two sections and hold with an underhanded grip. Starting on one side, use your pointer finger to separate out a small slice of hair from behind the section and pull it to the other hand. Use your pointer finger on the receiving hand and do the same thing back. You are essentially crossing small pieces of hair from one side to the other. This style of braiding is much like a traditional braid in that you have three pieces of hair moving. The only difference is how you are picking up and placing the hair. You want to make sure that you hold the hair firmly so the pieces stay neatly in place. You may have to use your fingers to smooth the large sections as you go, but just remember to pick up hair from the back of the section and bring it around to the other hand. I am going to cap the braid with a few inches of hair at the bottom and tie it off with a ponytail holder. Next, I am going to take a small piece of hair over the band by wrapping and tucking it into place. A little spritz will help hold the hair. I am using Agadir Argan Oil Spritz. It is humidity resistant and provides shine and hold for up to 24 hours. Now on to the pinup in the front. Using Agadir Styling Gel again, I am going to smooth the section of hair to one side using a soft bore bristle brush and secure it with two large bob pins facing each other to hold the hair in place. Then I am going to use a little Agadir Argan Oil Volumizing Hairspray to help mold the hair as I pull it to the opposite side, tuck, and roll it. I am going to secure with bob pins on the inside of the roll first and then around it. I like to use a combination of my hands and a rat tail comb to help situate the hair without disturbing the shape too much. I will continue pinning and shaping and then using holding spray to set the hair. Once I've situated it the way I want it, I'm going to use Agadir Spritz to give it a little extra hold. To protect the hair from external elements, add some additional shine and hydrate the hair. I am using Agadir Argan Oil Spray Treatment, which contains 100% pure argan oil. 
Total style time for this was about an hour and 30 minutes. The style can be maintained by securing the edges with a silver satin scarf and then covering with a satin bonnet. You can see more information about the products used in this tutorial by visiting monoshair.com.